Hey guys, BrokeWizard59, and I'm coming at you with another LEGO Star Wars set review. And this is set number 7255, The General Grievous' Escape. It's ages 7 plus and contains 111 pieces. When it came out in 2005, it originally retailed for $19.99 or 20 US dollars. So, without further ado, let's get into the minifig. Alright, so the first minifigure you get in this set is Obi-Wan Kenobi, and this is the episode 3 version. And so you can see here, he does have this nice torso printing, which was very common back in 2005 through 2007. And you can see he has this um, interesting leg color here, it's like a orangish, reddish kind of color. Very unique um, leg coloring, I'm not sure why. Lego did that, and of course he has the blue lightsaber, along with the dark orange beard and head. And then here on the back he does of course have the brown cape, and he does not have back printing. And the next minifigure we have in this set is General Grievous. And this was the very first version of General Grievous release, so you can see very different compared to the newer version. And so you can see here he does have the normal droid legs and arms, except in the white color. And he does have a very interesting uh, headpiece here, as you can see while I do the spin around. Quite interesting. Try to model it after a minifig head. You can see there, and his eyes, um, and um, the grill piece, which is his mouth, and so he does not have any like paint, it's just engraved, and then also has that special torso piece, and the lightsabers here can move back and forth, not up and down, and then of course one very interesting thing about this figure is the cape. So you can see it is red on one side, and this like lightish gray, purplish gray with these markings on the other. And this cape is exclusive to this minifig and has never been re-released. So that is a very interesting cape, and that's why this figure costs more money compared to the other versions of this figure. So yeah, that is General Grievous, and he does have four lightsabers, two green and All right, two. Alright, so first off here, let's take a look at our Boga. And so you can see here, the side view. You look at the back. Your other side. And again here, the front. Alright, so as we zoom in a bit here. You could see here in the front, this is the eye and the mouth, along with the nose. And then here we have like a bit of like scales or like a hairpiece. And so as we move over here, you have this area and this is where you would see your Obi-Wan Kenobi minifig, just like so. And then as we come back here to the front, you can actually move the head of the boga up and down like so and you can also move your legs up and down all four of them and then these uh the feet are actually detachable pieces and you can also take them out and position those however you like and the tail also moves around up and down and side to side and yeah that is pretty much it for the boga so now let's take a look at the wheel bike all right so here is our general grievous's wheel bike and this was the first version of this set released because there was another version released in i believe 2014 but yeah so here just a quick look at the side you have your back your other side and the front and so first off here 
your legs can move all the way around because they do have these ball joints and that enables them to move in all directions. Here you have a seat and this is where you would put General Grievous as I'll zoom in. There is your seat and the way you put General Grievous inside you pull this part back and you can take your General Grievous minifig and you should, you can or can't take the cape off. It is your choice. But I'll decide to take my cape off. But what you do, you see you have this stud here in the back. And you have a um, piece here. What you do is basically you have to connect this piece to that stud. And I just find that easier with taking the cape off. But you can do it with the cape on. Then you just um, pull the handle back. And that is how you fit General Grievous inside. And so he can't actually hold on to the handle. And then here, sorry about that. But as we quickly look at the other side, you do have these two long blasters. And they can kind of look move a little bit side to side. And then here we also have two more blasters here on the inside. And then the main feature of this vehicle, as I'll zoom out, is you can make it into a mobile form. And the way you do that, you take the back leg, twist it, and make it upside down. Push it all the way back until you cannot push it anymore. Do the same thing with the other side. Push it back like so. And again, the other side, the same thing. And now it is in its mobile form. And now it can move like so. So quite interesting here. And of course you can make it back like so and yeah and you can make it as wide or as tall as you want and now I just want to zoom in here on these uh, leg pieces and so they are actually made with this uh, very special piece I actually have never seen this in a set before I think this was a special mold for the legs and then our um, feet are made out of like the Lego jackhammers as you can see here that was actually very interesting and then our actual dish here is printed so that was also interesting because they did not have stickers back in the day they had all printed pieces so that was really cool but yeah, so that is your General Grievous' wheel bike. Lastly here, we just have our instructions manual. And so you can see the box art on the front. And just open it up to a few pages just so you could see how it was made. And this is actually a quite old manual here. Kind of worn out. But yeah. And then just a few of the features. And this is my favorite page here. Shows all the sets of 2005. So yeah, just a quick look at the manual. And that will complete the review on set number 7255, um, The General Grievous' Chase. So all in all, it's a pretty good set. I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. And so the reason why not a 10... Because I think the General Grievous' wheel bike is a little like too small. And sometimes when you make it into its mobile form, the the wheels don't like um, move. So that's a little disappointing. And I think it's a bit too small. They could have probably made it a little bit bigger and maybe added a couple more features to it. Because I think it was just too simple. And the Boga, on the other hand, is very nice. I like um, all the parts of the Boga and all. And yeah, so I think the Boga is pretty cool. And so, um, 
this set if you're looking to buy this set you can find it on Brooklink for around 40 45 dollars um, used and if you're looking for new in box 70 to 100 something like that and on eBay you can find this for around it's a little um, higher around 50 plus dollars and yeah so I bought this set actually at a local toy store of mine and if you're wondering how because this set is of course discontinued and it's 10 years old well I do have a local toy store which um, does have um, new and um, retired sets so that's pretty cool and I got this for about $45 so not too bad and so they did re-release the set in again 2014 except that time they did not have they only had General Grievous's real bike they did not have a boga and it was I don't know like $30 I think and this set was 20 so quite a bit of a bump I really wish they would have included the boga but they have not and that's why this set is um, doubled in price over the last 10 years but still not too bad for price pretty um, good price you can it's pretty affordable but yeah so that will pretty much do it for this review of set number 7255 so I'd like to thank everyone for watching this review and please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more so this is Brooke Wizard 59 and I'll see you next time